that we're sprinkling in the denim amongst the ruffles. I'm going back and forth, I can't take it. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we make our clothes to be just as unique as us. I am super excited to be with you guys today to give you this simple denim bandana top tutorial. And I've been wanting to do another denim top. You guys love when I do denim and so I try to like make sure that we're sprinkling in the denim amongst the ruffles, the mini ruffles we've been doing over this summer. I originally saw this worn by Monroe Steel on Instagram. And so when I saw her wearing it, looked it up, saw a ton of different types of bandana tops. And so today we are going to make a sewing one just like, just like the one she has here. It is from Nasty Gal. So I'll put the link for it down in the description box below, but that's where it was originally from. We're gonna do one just like that one. And we are going to do one slightly different, slightly more edgy in a no-so version. So let's get right into it. All right, the first thing you wanna do, regardless of version, measure from where you want the top to hit and down to where you want the bottom of the bandeau, bandana, <laughs> the V to go. So I think I want mine to go about 13 inches. You also wanna kinda do it over your chest too. That kinda takes it to 14 inches. I know that's not much, but for some of you, that's gonna be a big difference, so you wanna make sure you do that. From the same point, you want to measure how long you want it to be on the side. I'm gonna actually measure mine to about eight inches, which is right there, and I may make it shorter later on, but from 14 to eight, I think that's a good little angle. That's gonna be how long it is all the way through the back. So yeah, you, <laughs> you definitely want to make sure you have that length that you want. All right, to the table. So here are the jeans that we're using. These were my uncle's, so I am grateful to have them. I think they're the perfect color for this project. You guys know that I love reusing the actual seams of denim. If you don't want a seam down the middle of your bandana top, then you're going to want to look at the thrift store for a skirt. For me, I am okay with having that seam down the middle. And of course, I am going to do my best to use the flat fail seam. That one has a little bit of a dark spot right there. So, well, this one does too. They're exactly the same. That is so odd. But anyway, I'm gonna take one leg and I have my trusty piece of soap. Personally, I like it better than chalk. We are going to do 14 inches, but we are going to leave seam allowance. And for them, that seam allowance is a little bit you know, more than most because you're double folding it. So we're gonna do it to there, add another inch down to about 15. And then over here, we're doing eight inches. So we're gonna take it to nine inches, connect the two and we'll cut it. It's nerve wracking working with something that is special to you, like it's sentimental, which is why I have only done one of my husband's things. So yes, I am nervous cutting this. <laughs> then we're gonna cut this seam open and there we have the front of our top. Then we're going to take the other leg and the same height as the side, we're gonna cut across. It's gonna angle down a little bit so that it could come underneath your arm and go to the small of your back and not really give you too much trouble. But for now, I'm just gonna cut it straight because it gives me the most fabric and if I make a mistake, then I have room to correct it. And I don't know about you guys, but I need room for correction. <laughs> if you are a size that you don't feel like you'll find a pair of jeans that's large enough that the end of the legs or any of the leg will work the way I am doing it, piece them together. So get you the biggest pair of jeans that you can find and just take the pieces and piece them together. Take two or take one and a half, whatever you need and just make those seams purposeful. Add that other leg right here and you know make sure these are in the center of your back. Just use what you have to get what you want. <laughs> of course, that is for the sewing one, not necessarily for the not sewing one. That one's a little bit harder, but you can use fabric glue. So you want to make sure that leg does fit you around. If not, you're going to add pieces. This is barely fitting me. If if it does. One side of a pair of jeans is shorter than the other side. So me trying to use this seam has it a little bit short on this side. So I'm gonna keep going and act like nothing's wrong. Sometimes it, 
it works in my favor sometimes it don't you see how this is sitting out like that if you just want yours to sit out then that's fine pay attention to this especially if you have a big chest because of course mine ain't sitting out very much because i don't have a very big chest but watch what it does when i add in the darts even when i just pull it see it pulls it in towards me so that it's sitting on my stomach you can decide how you want to do that now when we do the no so there's nothing you can do about that unless you want to add some darts with fabric glue which we're not going to do in this tutorial at pins here this is going to take out that extra space that i said i was willing to lose at the beginning on the sides so backtrack what i said and when you're measuring on the side make sure you add in extra for your darts see what that's doing making it more fitted to me if i put this behind me it is barely fitting me i know that when i had it on i was happier with this side so i'm just gonna fold it in half and gently take the other side apart So once you're satisfied with it, you can, you know, put it up to you again and see if that's okay. Of course you want to reverse them because we're doing them reverse. This is how I reverse them. And we're going to go to the sewing machine and sew these darts in. Today we are sewing on the Sailrite Fabricator. Here we are, fit snugly. And I have this turned up because that's all gonna get cut away. I am thinking about putting the zipper on the side. Let me know in the comments if you think that was a mistake. The reason I'm thinking about doing this is I really like this flat fell seam going right down the back. I know like over here underneath my arm, it will be nice and hidden. But then when you put up your arm, it's just like, is that a whole zipper underneath your arm? I don't know. I'm gonna mark how far, you know, this should come over and then we'll go back to the table and figure this out. I am gonna go ahead and put the zipper in the back. I just feel like it would be weird on the side. Would it be? <laughs> I'm going back and forth, I can't take it. One thing I know I have to do is I have to even out the length of this. So we're gonna cut it shorter. Remember I said that we were gonna have extra. This is a zipper that I have. It came off of another garment and I'm trying to figure out whether I can Kind of hide the zipper underneath it and if i can do that putting it on the side is not a bad idea even though it's not a hidden zipper the zipper would be under there and we would just attach it further back on this side you will be able to see it if you peeled it back well actually it's like this you will see a seam but you wouldn't see the actual zipper. Will it work? Will it work? I'm gonna do it. We're gonna do it. The extra part will be folded back. All right, let's see. Put the bottom of the zipper left room enough for me to double fold hem it. This is what the top looks like. We're gonna take this and fold it behind at the end but i'm not gonna do it yet i want to make sure i get all of this right that i actually can do what i'm trying to do All right, it is fitting, yes. I'm really excited about that. I do need to take this in some, because the other side fits perfectly. And what we're going to do with the zipper is we're gonna cut some of it off and I'm going to sew it, just a little top stitch, right where that stitch already is. So we're gonna fold it down 
and just sew it right there. Just back and forth a little bit right there so it'll blend in. You won't know from the front what's going on. And we'll do that on both sides so we can hide the rest of this zipper. And we'll just sew it right there. Don't cut too many of these off because if your zipper comes above there, then it will come off. So I actually regret cutting off that many. I should have just cut off a few. Sew that there, snip this a bit. And we're gonna sew it down. I hit it. <laughs> it should have been right there. Let's see if I can do the other one right. I guess the best thing to do would be sew it from the outside. Let's see if we hit that one. There we go. We did it. And like I said, I regret cutting that because that zipper could. I don't have to go back in. I made more work for myself with a hand stitch and add a string around. So that when the zipper comes, if it comes up farther than it should, it won't slip off of there. You don't want to lose your zipper. That's the most annoying thing. Lastly, we are going to double fold him the whole edge. And then sew it, top stitch it right along the edge just like this one is. So basically just a jean hem the same way, all the way along the edge. Taking in the side seam. And hey, if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? We have back to back to back amazing videos for this summer to just outfit your whole summer wardrobe. Hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. All right, back to the video. All right, we're done with the first one. For the second one, you are going to need a pair of jeans and a set of eyelets. I bought these on Amazon. I will put the link in the description box below. They're fairly cheap. I think this set of 100 was like six or $10. This is gonna be super easy. We are going to measure the same measurements from the beginning. And for this one, we are not at all worried about the edge because it's unfinished. That's what I love about denim. Open it up on the side. All right, that's one. And then we're also going to cut that straight piece and it's going to match the length of the side, which was eight inches. Now we basically have short. We can go ahead and finish, cut this one straight, finish the edge of these, and we would have three whole garments. This is the front, this is the back. In this scenario, you want it to be smaller than you because then you're going to use the eyelets and the holes in order to adjust the size. So you should probably just measure around your bust. Mine is 37, 38 on a good day. Half of 38 is 19. I'm right at 19 right now, which means I actually need to go a little bit smaller. Because if it's too big for you, then it's gonna be falling off. We are at 18 and 18 is 36, so that's probably just perfect. No, you will not be wearing a traditional bra with this one, a bandeau or those silicone sticky bras would be optimal. So we want to kind of lay out, see how many of these things we think we need. I think we're gonna do five and add a hole. The first one and last, we wanna kind of take close to the edge. And then we'll space out the rest of them. Like the middle one, you get it. And actually remember from the first part of the tutorial, you actually wanted to kind of go in and not out like it's going. So we actually wanted to do this. So either straight or slightly in. So we will match up our other sides. And we'll cut off any excess, so don't worry about it right now. Now, I'm gonna pin these because I don't wanna lose my folds. 
if you have a fabric hole punch, you can use that. If we don't have a fabric hole punch, you're gonna take your scissors and just cut out a small hole. It's gonna snip a little bit more. You really wanna snip this just a little bit at a time. I just like to put this piece in because then I know whether my hole is big enough. And it does not. It comes with this little metal piece. We should do, be doing it from the inside. This goes on there. And then there's a little flat piece that goes on top. It has a little hole in it. And you just put it on top. And we need a mallet or a hammer. And you just hit it until the metal piece folds over the other piece. Perfect. We only got 19 more to go. And you wanna make sure that when you tug a little bit, this the edges aren't coming out. That's why you wanna make sure you're only making your hole up bigger little by little. Cause if you make that hole too big, this little metal thing has nothing to hold on to. And you wanna make sure you hammer enough so that it is really holding onto your fabric and it doesn't start coming loose. I've had these come out before, especially on thin material. Jean is pretty good. So let's move along. All right, see what I did there? This one is further over than that one. You wanna be careful about that. So now it's gonna look all cattywampus. So I wanna make sure I get them. Uh, the rest of them I'm gonna do like that and just make it look like, I don't know, it was on purpose maybe. All right, so here we have both sides. And I'm going to just line up our eyelets so we can cut off the excess and at this point the awesome thing about denim is that it's going to fray super nice um, if you want a jump start on your fraying for your denim to give it that really nice worn in look throw it in the washing machine and put it in the dryer and that will give you the worn in look and you don't have to work for it I don't fray denim anymore so once you get out the washer and the dryer, you can go ahead and lace it with whatever you want. Whatever you want. Shoelaces, this is faux leather cording. And I should have done it the other way because I wanted it to be on the outside, but that's okay. And tie at the end and wear it like that. All right, see, I told you, super simple, but before we see the final looks, let me tell you about my free Facebook group. If you wanna share your upcycles with other like-minded, positive people, check the link in the description box below for my free Facebook group. And if you want more accountability, like a class, then definitely hit that join button to find out more about that class, as well as my members only group. There are perks, you can get early videos, tips and tricks, different things from me behind the scenes scenes if you become a member. So definitely hit that join button down below. All right, first up, we are going to do the sewing version. I really am super excited for you guys to see how this one turned out. All right, so I paired it with my frilly skirt from I think about two years ago. This was one of you guys' favorites and still is one of my favorites. I love the way this walks. It walks absolutely amazing. And try to go up some stairs with it, you feel like a million bucks, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so yes, I think it's super cute with this. It elevates that denim top. And with the heels as well, yes, it does everything for this denim top. But let's see a little bit of a more edgier version of this and with it toned down and made more casual. this now I thought I was gonna like the sewing version way more than the non sewing version but I actually like them equally and the one it's just a whole vibe like with the ties on it's a whole vibe it yes it's a whole vibe with the cargo pants yes it is a whole vibe so I am absolutely loving this either way you choose to do it you could do both and think about this in different materials I've seen these with actual bandanas um, I've seen them with just a ton of different materials so think about it in t-shirt material think about it in all types of different materials let me know 
scroll down below what you're interested in making out of these, whether you're going to do the sewing version or the no sew version and which one was your favorite. And I do have other upcycles for you guys right here. So definitely check those out and subscribe. You don't want to miss a thing. So hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing. And this top I have on. Yes. No sew. Yes. No sew. Just a t-shirt some snips like i have a video for you right here it is t-shirts with scissors only look amazing just with scissors only yes darling <laughs> so go ahead and take a look at that and i will see you guys in the next one bye